Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a pack with me video. This is when I was packing for Disney World. I asked you guys on Instagram stories if you'd wanna see this and most of you said yes, so I thought I'd do it. I thought it would be fun to share because it's a very specific trip with specific packing needs. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna start by pulling down my suitcase. I get a lot of questions about this suitcase. I got it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I always get my suitcases there. You just gotta check the zippers, but other than that, they are pretty great. And I liked that it was like a hard exterior. So, oh, there I am. First, I took out all the bags that I keep in my suitcase. Also, look at my rat's nest in the back of my head. <laughs> That's cute. But, so then I am pulling out all the things I want to wear. That was my I live in fantasy. <laughs> my hair, I can't get over it. I'm pulling out all the things I want to wear. Um, and things I can link down below, I will do that. So I'll try to link that Fantasyland shirt. But I pretty much just brought, like, athletic wear. I brought some, like, cute denim shorts, but... I know for the most part, I just like to be comfortable and we were doing a lot of walking. So I brought a lot of my favorite Lululemons, which I'll link those down below as well. Then I just wanted to lay everything out to make sure I wasn't bringing too many pairs of shorts or too many t-shirts or anything. And I wanted to pair the ears so I wasn't overdoing the ears, even though I overdid the ears anyway. But this actually did help me kind of know like what I wanted to wear on what day. It kind of helped me be a little more organized. Then I just thought I'd show you Bradley was packing as well. He had some piles going and I wanted to show you this new hat that Disney and Nike came out with. They have a few different like styles, but he really, really liked it. So I'll link that down below as well. And then I am just packing everything. So I tend to put all the pants together and I usually roll all the shirts and dresses. I bought a couple new Madewell t-shirts which I actually really enjoyed. I get a lot of questions about that leopard dress. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. It's from Target. As is this shirt that says girls supporting girls. It looks like it just says one girl, but it does say girls supporting girls. But I thought it was so cute. I actually didn't end up wearing it because on the day I was going to wear it, I wore this, which is a really cute Uniqlo shirt. Um, that's like a brand that makes Disney t-shirts. They make a lot of different things, but they do have a lot of Disney t-shirts. I bought some new ones. You'll see them in my Disney World haul. But I'm just rolling up all the t-shirts, dresses, and tops, and then I put in my pajamas. I didn't show it, but I also put in my socks, my underwear, and my bras. And then I'm typically not a packing cube type of person. I know that's a shock since I'm like a type A organized type of person, but I just don't enjoy them. I think they make things harder, honestly. So I never use them, but I do have them, um, and I use them to carry my ears. So like I said, I brought a... a a overwhelming amount of ears. I brought my silver ones, my purple ones, which are my all-time favorite. These were like a limited edition rainbow bow one that I wanted to wear with my cute mustard t-shirt. These were new this year. They're still available. I will have all these linked down below the ones that I still can. Uh, my original mini ear ones, I got these when I was like 16. They're so comfortable. The new Arendelle teal ears. I just thought they were a good neutral my rose gold ears are good neutral as well. These are my new like teal and pink ones. I don't think I ended up bringing these because I had to make a few cuts. <laughs> and then my amazing rainbow ears. So like I said, what I can link down below, I will. But I got a little ear excited, you guys, and I need to cool it next time. But I stacked them all in there and they fit pretty great. So I put them all in the packing cube and then I'm just loading up the other side of the suitcase. And then it was time to do my toiletries. I travel a lot, but I normally travel to my parents' house in North Carolina in which I have my own bathroom there. So I have like most of my stuff. So I never have to pack toiletries. So I found this extra annoying, but whatever, that's first world problems, but I needed to decant some of my favorite products. So I put them in these like pop top things. I found mine at Nordstrom Rack. If I can find something similar, I will link it down below. But I put some proactive in there because the bottle was too big to bring. And then I can't sleep without my sleepy lotion. So I needed to bring enough for six nights. So I am just pouring some into this little thing as well. And I love these little, um, pod things. I have them in a smaller size as well that I keep in my purse at all times that has like medicine in them. Um, so yeah, I just put that in those things and I'm putting them in this Kate Spade bag. This is really old. If I, I need a new one actually, but I'm just starting to load up the cosmetics bag. So I am bringing this travel razor and I just used um, conditioner as shave gel or whatever, but I do like that travel razor. It's very handy. I'm bringing some makeup wipes. These are the, these are the simple compostable cleansing wipes that I mentioned in a recent video. I brought my own shampoo and conditioner, which I didn't need to because we stayed in like a two bedroom suite that was really nice that had like its own shampoo and conditioner that was actually like quality, but I brought them anyway. So noted for next time. So I put those two in. I brought my BioSilk Silk Therapy oil for my hair, which my hair was so frizzy in the humidity, so that was necessary. My favorite leave-in conditioner, also a detangler. I just have a little miniature size of it. 
my dry shampoo, which I don't think I even actually used because I was pretty good about washing my hair because, you know, you're in the sun all day. Um, my favorite Trader Joe's tea tree cleansing pads. They help my skin stay clear. I'm bringing this Sephora moisturizer that I've been using. It's not the greatest thing I ever used, but it is moisturizing. So I've been using that lately and it's counterpart eye cream, which I actually really enjoy that. So I definitely needed to bring that. I use it morning and night. I brought my Young Living Progestance Plus oil. I apply this for hormone support about like once a week. So I didn't want to be without it. So I brought that. And as well, my frankincense oil that I mix in with that Sephora moisturizer every other night. I love frankincense in my skincare. You guys know that. I never leave the house for extended amounts of time without my lip scrub, just in case. So I have my Mint Juleps lip scrub. I have this travel size of the Laneige lip sleeping mask that you guys know I love. And then I was really excited to find these at Ulta. They're the simple products that I use, but in really cool, like, reusable travel situations. So I have the moisturizing facial wash and then the hydrating light moisturizer. I usually have the one with SPF, but since I was wearing additional SPF all those days, I thought it would be okay. My grease lightening tea tree aloe gel from Lush, as well as some tea tree toner water. I had this small one left, so I thought I'd use that up. I brought some Evian spray, which I thought I would put in my Disney bag, but I never did, so that was a waste of space. I have my Tangle teaser and then some hair supplies, some hair ties and a hair clip, because I just like to always have those. And that is it for the toiletries. So I'm just going to zip that up. And then I also go into my pouches drawer and just get a bunch of pouches. When I travel, I find that to be the easiest way to organize things. So that's what I did. I also packed my makeup, which I didn't go into like full depth because I feel like it's the same every time I travel. But I will have some of my favorites for like Disney days down below. I also did a video on what I what products I use makeup wise for like theme park days. Um, so I'll have that linked up in the corner. I did bring my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, which I kind of forgot about and I fell back in love with. I love those. And I wore my NYX BB cream every single day. I love that stuff. It's great coverage, but it's lightweight. So I wore that every single day in the parks. And I, again, have it in this cute little Kate Spade thing. And then I also brought my Morphe Travel Brush Case. I love this thing. It protects all your brushes and it fits a lot in there, but it just kind of closes up and it has kind of a hard exterior so nothing gets messed up, but it's kind of compact. So I really liked that. Then I was just playing Tetris with all my stuff, put it in my tennis shoes and my backpack and zipped it up and we're good to go. And now moving on to the carry-on, I had like a first aid bag, so I brought these band-aids. You guys saw that in my errands haul. I also have had these in my like medicine cabinet forever. They're like the things that go on the back of your heel. I loved those. I have Dramamine for the flight. I brought it in case anybody wants it for rides, but just mainly for the flight. I have my Walgreens brand of extra strength gas X, which is the best. I have these eye drops, which I don't even really like, but I don't like to be without eye drops, so these are in my purse, so I threw them in the first aid bag. Then it's time to pack oils, which I just grabbed all of my oil roll-ons because they're the easiest way to travel. I did bring some lavender, peppermint, citrus fresh. Most of these are just the oils I always have in my purse with the roll-ons as well. So I definitely wanted to bring thieves. I got sick last time I went to Disney World, so I was sure to roll thieves on the bottoms of my feet every night and I did not get sick. Also, Deep Relief is my favorite for theme park days because it's just great at cooling you down. But also if you have like tension headaches or I get jaw pain a lot. My digize for tummy aches, of course, and then peace and calming for just whenever I'm feeling anxious. I set aside the ones I would want for the flight, which was peace and calming and valor. Those keep me calm and brave. Then I put everything else in that little bag. I have my magic bands. The pink one was for my last trip and then the purple was for this trip, but they are always linked up. So they both had the same stuff on it. So that was cool. I have my little tech bag. I brought my vlogging camera because I vlogged. That video will be up next. Some external chargers, my little quick quack thing or whatever that goes into my computer so I can plug things into it. Chargers, all that kind of stuff. So that's all in there. And then I had my in-flight beauty bag. This is the first aid balm lotion that I love. So I decanted some of that. Some pixie rose oil, some thieves hand sanitizer, some lush face spray, my Ariana Grande cloud perfume, and my jade roller. I'd never leave the house without that. Well, like travel without it. So that's my in-flight beauty bag. Then it was time to just pack everything up. This is my, well, my mother's North Face backpack that I stole when I went to Tokyo. I told her I'm never giving it back. She's like, I knew that was going to happen, so it's fine. So I put in my laptop, my iPad. Um, I brought my laptop in case I needed to get any work done. I don't think I had 
ended up using it. Well, no, I did use it to sign up for Disney Plus while we were there, but whatever. I have my DS because me and Bradley like to sometimes play Mario Party on the flights. And then I'm just putting in all of those pouches you already saw me pack. Um, I have a couple things I like to keep in reach on the flight in case I want to use it. If I do want to look like a crazy person, I like that Sephora Rose sheet mask. These are my like heated eye masks that I love. The Grapefruit Lip Balm from Young Living. I love this stuff. Um, my AirPods. I am loving AirPods. I got these last year for Christmas and I just think they're incredible. Um, and of course, my wallet, some money, and like my credit card, my ID. My phone is in that front pocket too, of course. I shoved my magic bands in there so they were easy access when I got off the flight. But that is it, you guys. That is everything I packed for Disney World. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Like I said, that Disney World vlog will be up next. So yeah, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.